Ghost Stories from a Seer, Part 1 Spirit Stories I was visiting my parents who happened to live in the woods, getting ready to go to bed, and I was turning off all the lights. I looked out the back window and there was a man standing there, and I had never seen him before, and he was pointing. I said, oh, I don't know who you are, and I have never talked to you before, and I've never seen you before, so, nope. <laughs> I walk to the guest room and I turn off the lights and he's standing in front of the window. And still, he's pointing. So I look at what he's pointing towards and he just so happens to be pointing towards my dad's office, which is just outside of the house. I could see that through the window my dad was working and I knew exactly what was going on. The next morning I said, hey dad, last night around 11 o'clock PM, you were doing some genealogy work and you were looking for somebody. My dad says, yeah, I was doing genealogy work last night at that time. How did you know? I said, well, last night there was a man standing outside and he kept on following my vision and he looked to be a little bit weathered. He was a Maori looking man. He kind of had like a darker jacket on and he kept on pointing towards you. And when I looked in, I could see that he was pointing towards you and it looked like he was showing me all these markings and it looked like a genealogy graph. So I said, Dad, why don't you pull up the information that you have on all these different people and let's see if we can find them. So my dad opens up all the information and he's scrolling through all these photos and I stopped him and I said, that person right there, that's the man that's standing outside who's been pointing at you. And my dad says, that is the person that I've been looking for. So I wasn't afraid, I was excited. I don't always choose to sit in mediumship, which is the information between you and spirit energy, but this was one of those times that I was really glad that I stopped to ask a question. Do you want to know more? Stay tuned for part two. Spirit Stories, part two. The Maori Man. Ooh. So we know that we've made contact with this Maori Man. And I said, hey dad, I think that he's brought in somebody and it looks to be his mom. My dad asked, well, how do you know that it's his mother? When I'm leaning into spirit and I'm asking the question of how are you connected, all of these lines appear. It also happens with the living. I've learned that for me in the way that I see every line is a lineage mark. So one line up would be parental, two lines up would be grandparents. Sometimes the lines like go diagonal and they veer depending on if they're adoption. But this is one line up and one line over, which look like that's the mother's line. So I said, she's standing next to him. She looks to be about four foot ten. She's wearing a hat. It has a brim on it. There look to be like some flowers on it. She kind of looks like she's getting ready to go to church. So once again, my dad starts flipping through all of these photos and he finds a photo and I say, that person right there. And my dad gets a little emotional and he says, that's his mom. So now what do you do? You ask questions. Sometimes we don't know what to do when we've actually made contact. We're like, great, I made it this far. Now what do I do? Luckily, my dad is a genealogist, so he knew what questions to ask. So this Maori man was not haunting the property. He wasn't trying to scare me. He was trying to get my attention because I am a person who can see, trying to show me that he's trying to connect to my dad. Are those moments scary? Sure, they're kind of scary, but they're also really exciting. Do you have any more questions about mediumship? Ask me. Boo! <laughs>